Hi everyone, I hope you're okay. I'm um, sorry I've not been making any sort of videos like this for a little bit. Um, <laughs> I've got lots going on at the moment. Um, a bit too much to actually go into at the moment. Uh, yeah, it's quite freaky actually. <laughs> <coughs> but it will all be explained at a later date. But um, I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Um, happy holidays um, yeah I'm not quite sure how many videos I'm going to be doing um, across the Christmas period uh, it's my last day in college uh, next week um, Wednesday so I'll, I'll have a bit more free time um, to do a few more videos and that there is some subjects that I've got planned to talk about um, there's been some amazing developments uh, not just with me but my friends, um, even complete strangers, <laughs> um, yeah, but today um, I've been sort of like trying to sort out my flat, uh, rearranging because my daughter's coming over for Christmas Day, so I want to make it a bit more nice for her and, you know, put lights up and <laughs> all sorts, which I've, I've not done for a long time, so I'm starting to get in the Christmas spirit for once. Um, so yeah, it's going to be lovely uh, having it here, so yeah, I'm just going to be running around doing things and but yeah making videos in between I suppose uh, when I can uh, but yeah there's just, just been so much stuff going on so much healing with people um, people just starting out on their journeys and it, it's absolutely amazing to see um, it, it really is <laughs> a lot of things especially um, this week, there's just been so many freaky things that have gone on, um, just with card readings of my own, and, <laughs> and just things that synchronise with it after, even days after, like today, you know, the, there was a reading that I was watching online, um, and it was explaining what I did on the full moon, um, right down to the last detail. And it was very strange. It was like, shit. <laughs> but the thing is, is, is the series of events that led up to me having doing myself a reading on the full moon. Um, it all coincides with just the spiritual side of, of what I've been connecting with. Um, and it was just confirmation all the way through that, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm not going mad. <laughs> Um, I, I'll explain it to you um, on another day. Um, I mean, today I've got to finish off sorting out my flat, getting it all tidy, putting all my tarot cards and decks and everything back to where it was. Um, yeah, because I've, I've, I've got to move the sofa behind, move over the other side of the room, and then move the chair from that side. Of the, well, obviously, move the chair first over to this side of the room, and all sorts of things. And obviously, I've got to do it by myself because I live on my own, and. I have back problems, so, you know, I mean, I am a fit, agile woman, you know, I'm not shy of, of lifting heavy stuff, you know, that that's what I've done all my life, um, you know, I worked as a deckhand, um, pulling a, a, a massive boat to the side of the quay, you know, so, you know, I'm right at lifting and pushing, and <laughs> I do have the strength, it's just at my back, um, because I've worn away part of the spine, um, yeah, it doesn't like the, the heavy stuff anymore, so... I have to, it, it takes me a bit longer to to rearrange stuff um, than what it used to, um, or what it would a normal person. Um, but I get there in the end, you know, and some painkillers and some stretches after, and I should be fine. Um, but it's my own fault for not looking after my back properly, you know, with the core core muscles, as they say. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go out and um, go and feed the ducks and everything, the swans and all that, at Taylor Park. Um, it's, it's been frozen over the last few days. Uh, we didn't get no snow last night, but it's, it was clear. So it's it, everything that was sort of like melting yesterday is now just solid ice again. So I can imagine that the lake is, is frozen solid. Um, so I'm going to take them some uh, lettuce and some kale, and I'm, <laughs> I'm going to feed the birds as well as the um, squirrels as well, and whatever else, whatever wildlife there is there that wants to eat what I'm bringing. So yeah, I'll be doing that in a bit. So hopefully you'll have some nice footage. 
of a frosty tailor park. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you very much to my new subscribers for, for supporting me and this channel, and thank you very much to all the ones that have followed me along so far. Um, yeah, the, the big developments just in general with everyone um, quite shocking actually um, and they are life changing um, I mean this time last year I was just on the beginning of my life changing journey um, of finally deciding to let everything go of the past and make a conscious effort not to let it affect me anymore and to move forward and um, yeah this last year has been one hell of a ride um, but it's been the best ride of my life so far. Um, I've never ever had a full year of my life where I've just been happy, even with everything that's gone on. You know, the death, death of my dad and other personal things that have gone on, and you know, my mum trying to contact me and things like that. You know, it's not bothered me. Um, the actual change of state of my brain it's its just astounding um, and I, you know I, it was an experiment I started off as an experiment alright, bugger it, you know I've got nothing to lose there can't be anything worse than what I'm already going through so you know give it a go and I followed it, I followed it all the information that the universe has asked me to do through my tarot readings and also, you know, intuitive readings online on YouTube. Um, you know, a certain title to catch, catch my eye, and I think, oh, I'll just give it a go and click on it. And you know, the information in there is so personal. Um, just stuff that you wouldn't think anybody would know about, you know. But it's energies. The bounce pick up in it, especially this last year, you know, my energies have been completely changing and I do see it being picked up in readings and I know it's not just me that's going through changes, there's lots of other people but, you know, there are certain specific points where you think, oh my god <laughs> how the hell did you know that? <laughs> you know, it really is deep personal things that nobody else knows about um, yeah, it, it's very strange um, but yeah, I've been watching it play out um, I've been doing my experiments watching, observing, seeing uh, these things play out exactly how it's been said to the T and it's, it's just so mad to watch and you know I think I'm going crazy so people you know that watch these videos and that know me must, must think I'm going absolutely nuts um, but you know to be this happy if, if, if I am going completely insane yeah bring it on I love it <laughs> it's the happiest I've ever been in my life um, and I won't give that up for anyone, you know? Ow! <coughs> yeah. Well, no, I'll never give up my happiness for anyone. <coughs> that was uh, the old me. I mean, the amount of lessons that I've learned, the amount of old habits, old conditioning that I've been taught how to act, how to feel, what to do in situations. It's all gone, you know, it's all changed. And it, it, it's quite funny because when I look back on it, before I actually took that first terrifying step that I was going to listen to the universe. Um, so, so frightening. Before I did that, you know, I couldn't see a future. But as soon as I did, my life changed. And it's really quite amazing just... Um, I say how little you have to do and it, it really is basically just living as your soul wants to live just living as you want to live not being ashamed of who you are being <sighs> just stepping into who you are you know that, that person deep down inside that you know that you are a lot of us are afraid yeah, I've moved, <laughs> so I'm not used to everything, the desk and everything as it is, and yeah, bagging myself. So, yeah, I forgot what I'm talking about now. Um, yeah, 
nope, it's gone. <laughs> I'll have to rewind and see. So anyway, yeah, changes. Um, yeah, it, it, you don't really realise just how easy it is to move forward just by being who you are and not caring what other people think about you um, and doing things that make you happy do things that make you evolve that's all it is, that's all you've got to do and the happiness and the life changes that come with it are just absolutely amazing sorry, it's sunshine <laughs> it's just absolutely amazing you get blinded by all the happiness ah! <laughs> um, it is a, I've never ever had a full year or over a full year, actually, um, just over a full year now, um, of just feeling happy and forward movement. You know, everything that I've wanted to do, it's happened. Everything that I knew was meant for me has come my way in every aspect. You know, mental health, friends, um, college, you know, I know I'm unemployed at the moment, but you know I'm making steps into psychology. You know I, I never could imagine that 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 I'd have the confidence, self confidence, um, or even think that I'd be able to put myself in that sort of position. You know, mentally. As a, you know, an intellect, um, but that's all the conditioning from being a child, you know, and growing up being told, No, you can't do this, no, you can't do that. I mean, there was my dad there that you know, he was the influence that pushed me to do stuff, you know. Oh, Kaz, come climb that tree, <laughs> I've got my walking stick stuck up there, go get it back, <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah, let's go and walk around the coastline, let's go climb some rocks, let's go and draw whatever, you know. Oh, this this is what this, this leaf is, this is what that bird is, you know. Um, he, he never showed me boundaries. He showed me that I was capable of, of everything, you know. And I didn't realise at that age, but, you know, I, I realise now that, yeah, I am. I'm capable of anything that I put my mind to. <clears throat> and that is on both scales. I'm capable of putting myself through self-destruction, -destru you know. Uh, by focusing on all the negative things in my life, all the things that's happened to me, all the um, mental illnesses and the abuse, you know, uh, focus on the anxiety, panic and all the terror. Yeah, if I focus on that, yeah, I'll get that back. That's what I'll reflect, that's how I'll feel. But once you start focusing on, okay, you know, I've got this in my life, you know, maybe you know, like for the past year, or well, well for, the, for my full life, you know, I got a beautiful daughter, even though the marriage was horrific. Um, I've gone through so much trauma, but at the end of the day, it's made me who I am. It's made me an absolutely shit-hot researcher. It's made me an absolutely shit-hot, intuitive um, energy reader of people. Um, who they are on a soul level, even before they know who, know who they are. Um, and it, it, just there's just so many stuff. It, I'm try, <laughs> trying to put it all into perspective, but you know there is just so much stuff that's gone right, and it's continued to go right. But that's because my emotional state. Um, I've not allowed people to manipulate me where I used to be triggered very easily. Um, I don't let people manipulate me anymore. And yeah, I used to avoid these people, but recently I've found that not all learning and moving forward um, actually involves avoiding people. Yeah, up until you learn. Um, but then, you know, the universe chucks you in for that lesson. Have you learned your lesson? <laughs> Um, <clears throat> and I think my lessons have been actually to go through the that the traumatic experience or something that would have normally traumatised me to go through that experience 
and come out the, the other side not emotionally triggered as an empath that's that's a difficult thing to do um, but yeah since well no, yeah this, this past week I suppose um, I've just been seeing how far I've actually come that yeah I can put myself into what I thought was a triggering situation what would normally trigger me into various states of emotional thought processes and triggers and you know just setting me back and it's not I'm seeing it for what it is I'm feeling my emotions on a neutral level I'm not overly happy I'm not overly sad I'm <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm, in fact, I'm not sad at all, you know. Um, I understand the situations for what they are, so. And I know people, they have to grow in their own time. So, so I, I suppose it would make a lot more sense if I actually explain the situation, but I can't at the moment. Um, it's, it's just too much. Um, and it's, it's still playing out. Um, there will be a day when I will explain it all very much so um, but yeah I'm gathering the evidence in between and you know just my, my proof of yeah look this is what happened well this is what's supposed to happen and this is how things led on and, and this is the outcome you know you put two and two and two together and you come out with six you know <laughs> it's just the flow of the universe and I know there's a lot of people out there that, that don't understand it um, um, they think it's so hard to do and that you got to be you know you got to go to church and you've got to love God and you've got to do this you've got to do that <sighs> Just, <laughs> it's a big spectrum of all sorts of things but at the end of the day what really matters is that you're true to who you are on the inside that's all that matters and that you come from a place of love and everything else falls into place. Um, and I suppose when you know when people start going on about spiritual this and, and God this and Jesus that and there's all sorts of different aspects of it, you know. Um, even with you know the witchcraft and things like that, you know, oh you're a devil worshipper and things. No, no. <laughs> Tarot card, you're a devil worshipper. <laughs> you work with Satan. No. <laughs> It's just working with energy. There's negative energy and there's positive energy. You know, um, that's all this universe is, is energy. Energy creates matter. It vibrates at a certain frequency. Temperature rises. Uh, the matter is created. Um, it's, it's just so easy to understand on the smallest of levels but we make it so complicated um, this kicks in logic you start questioning well why is this happening what 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 and you go off um, constantly um, yeah it's nice to know how things work but there are some things you have to feel working um, when you do work feel the vibrations when you pick up the vibrations you send out the positive vibrations and not the negative vibrations the universe rewards you with positive stuff as long as you make positive steps you know it's, it's that simple you know even just waking up in the morning that's a positive step um, you know being grateful for for the clothes on your back, for the people in your life, you know, for the experiences that you've had, good and bad, because the bad ones are the ones that teach you to grow, um, if you know how to, you know, and a lot of people are stuck in those cycles, even after they've learned the lesson, um, they feel guilty for moving on, there's, there's something stopping them from moving on, uh, 
that sun's moving around and I'm moving around with it. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, yes. So, anyway, I want to go to the park <coughs> before it gets too cold and uh, feed, feed these poor cold animals out there. <laughs> My empath nature's taken over. It's like, oh, I'm going to take them all home. But no, I know I can't do that. And, you know, it's a while. But I could do my bit, like everybody. I know bread's not any good for the birds. It, it, there's no nu nutrition in it, and, and yeah, it's bad for the tummies. So, um, certain things that you can feed ducks and geese and things like that, which is vegetables, they eat insects, they even eat fish, crustaceans. Um, yeah, don't give them potatoes or anything like that. No, <laughs> they, they, it's poisonous for them. There is certain things that are poisonous. Um, citrus fruits aren't very good for them. Um, it stops them from absorbing cal calcium or something like that. Um, it's an in inhibitor. inhibitor. Um, so yeah, um, things like grapes, and lettuce, and cucumber, and um, kale. You know, um, they like that sort of thing. Um, little bits of mealworm and crustaceans, crabs whatever, prawns, um, even like uh, meat cuttings, they'll eat, you know, like bits off bacon and things like that, obviously not, not the salty stuff, because salt, salt's not good for them, um, you know, I mean, ham, I suppose, would be better than, than bacon, because um, yeah, bacon is very salty anyway, natural, but you can actually soak it, and it soaks the salt out, um, but yeah, bits of beef left over from your um, roast dinner and, or whatever, you know, just all sorts. It's amazing quite what they actually eat, you know, it's not just bread. Um, that's not anything in their stable diet at all, so it, it is bad for them. Anyway, time to go. So thank you everybody, um, sending you lots of love and light and have, have an amazing day. Bye-bye. <laughs>